Hi there, this video is to show you how to use the if error function. I am working in the New Perspectives for Excel textbook, Tutorial 6, Case 4, Step 13, on page 361. Um, we are supposed to modify this template. We're supposed to change the error here. So we're looking, we, we, we see an error here, which is a dividing by zero error, because the function here has uh, a division formula. See that divisor operator right there is dividing some empty cells by an empty cell, and dividing by zero give, is a mathematical error. Okay, so that's what this uh, error right here is. We're supposed to change that error to show a 0.0%. .0 when there's nothing in B5 because when we divide by B5 the, and this cell is nothing there we are dividing by zero so the if error function is um, a great function for helping us do that when we have an error in a function or formula we can use the if error function to display something else besides that typical default Excel error code so it's really easy actually to use an if error function. Just um, go to your normal uh, formula in that cell and type if error right there. And then in case the current value in, put it in the, as the first function, and then type your comma after it, that takes you to the value of error. And so if there's an error, the value of error argument is what we place in the cell instead of the default Excel error code. So we're going to type 0.0, .0 or actually we're just going to type 0 right there. Okay, and I'm going to press uh, enter. Okay, the error that I got there is that um, we want to accept the, I, di I didn't type in the uh, parenthesis at the end. And notice Excel wants to type that in. I'm going to say yes, it does it. And there it gives us our if error value. Um, cool. Then I'm going to autofill that down all the way. And that's better. Now, the reason we got percentage there is because this column is already formatted uh, with the percentage number style. Okay, hope that helps.